Okay, so um, let's go over a couple quirks and things about the volume uh, builder workflow. When you want to use uh, fields like the shader field with the volume uh, builder, you can just drop it as a as a child of the volume builder, and then you know select your your noise type and and adjust the parameters of the noise the way you'd like them to be, and. Uh, You'll get you can get some really cool uh, some really cool organic and and weird uh, noisy geometry from doing that. Uh, you'll adjust the the space, the creation space, change the size of the of the uh, bounds of the shader field. You know, make all the typical adjustments and adding smoothing and and throwing it in the mesher to to generate a mesh. Um, but let's say we want to apply our shader field to a piece of geometry that's already in the volume builder. Um, it's a little weirder, um, and this kind of tripped me up because when you add it uh, to the volume builder, nothing will nothing will happen initially, even if you select you know a noise. Um, so nothing's happening, uh, and we need to change our creation space from box to objects below. And that will uh, then you'll see that okay now it's having an effect, um, but uh, if we use an intersect, we can see that it it doesn't look quite right. Um, so we need to switch the volume type from uh, sine distance field to fog to have it interact with uh, you know kind of all through the object rather than just on the surface. Uh, but sometimes we need to adjust the uh, the brightness and contrast and the clipping uh, to get our um, to get our noise to come through properly on the on the geometry. So we'll do that, and then you can see uh, we we definitely see the effect our noise is having um, and cutting through this uh, this geometry like a like a boolean, which is what we want. Um, and we can animate that noise uh, over time using the speed. Uh, an animation speed or movement parameters. Um, we can set a loop period too if we want it to be a looping noise. Um, and then when we throw this into our uh, our volume measure, you know, it, it'll still convert it into, uh, into a mess just the same. So whether you're working with fogs or sine distance fields, it, you know, it, it doesn't matter in terms of uh, if you want to turn them into mesh. Um, the cool thing about the fog, though, is you could also render this as a uh, as a volume too with a volume shader. Um, so I hope this is helpful. This definitely tripped me up in terms of you know why uh, the shader field wasn't working uh, for me initially when I would when I would put it in the volume builder. So just make sure if it's not working for you that the creation space is set to objects below and that it's it's above those objects in the hierarchy um, or that you just have a shader field in there and nothing else um, if you just want to see how your how your shader field looks on its own um, and then you can you know stack that with other uh, other fields. Um, so yeah, I hope this is helpful for you if you're playing around with the volume, uh, volume workflow in Cinema 4D.